Perry has great energy. He was by far the best player in our grade. Very skilled, can handle the ball. Really the top player in his class. This is a kid that is a star in every single way. First time I saw Harry play, he was in the eighth grade at Flint Rock Middle School. He was really a really hard worker. You had to get him out of the gym. Always wanted to be in the gym, get extra shots up. So he worked hard. Big ticket, underscore, HG. You don't see people like that in high school. You know, 6'10", can really handle the ball, shoots the ball well. If you put a big on him, he was driving around him. If you put, a, if you put someone smaller on him, he was posting him up. He was literally, he was a big problem. It feels good because you just represent your country. Also, you know, I represent my city where I'm from, Winston-Salem, in North Carolina also, my school, AU team and everything. The first time I got injured, I was in Uruguay. And I just remember going to the back, you know, anxious, sitting on the sideline, my legs kind of like burning. It just feels real funny, you know what I mean? They got the ice on there, I can feel it, but it's like, it's already, it's already numb, my legs are already numb. So I'm like, I feel the ice, but it's not really working. It's cold in the locker room, it's freezing. I'm just trying to figure out what's going on, and I hear them kind of moving my leg, and they kind of talking about, oh, the ACL, this, the MCL too. And I just start breaking down in the back, you know, I just break down, I'm just like, man, it was just a terrible feeling that night. The day it happened was the day, the rankings came out for ESPN, I was ranked number one. I was at the NBA Top 100 camp when he got hurt going into his sophomore year with USA Basketball. And uh, we talked and thank God for him, him being so young. Uh, his body, uh, I think, came back a lot quicker than the average person would because he was so young. I fought my way up back to number one by the end of my junior year, so that was a, you know, a big thing to me. Boom, here we go again. The top high school basketball player in the country has suffered a season-ending injury. According to ESPN, Oak Hill Academy forward Harry Giles tore the ACL in his right knee just two minutes into his team's season opening game. Uh, I think he'll come back 100% uh, again. We never know, but now the question is going to be, do NBA teams risk uh, going with Giles, who's had an ACL injury uh, in both knees? Do they do it at number one? People are trying to tell me in the back. It's all good, you'll be all right, might not be that bad, but I know me, I know I had just went through it two years prior. Every time I get hurt or something happens, it's always similar, like right when I'm about to get started and I was always thinking about the play that I could have made, I should have just passed the ball up since it was early, but you almost feel like you get cheated because like, I felt like I did all the right things and I still ended up short. I knew he missed the game, he wanted to get on the floor. That was the hardest thing to see us practice and for him to watch the guys play without him. It was tough, but I think it built so much character in him. When he was at Duke, uh, he was never healthy. I don't think they really saw the real Harry Giles. I am saying like a year, a year and a half of just straight depression. I would fake as I was okay, but the game, I wasn't right with the game. I feel like my life wasn't right. Before his injuries, you know, he was really the top player in his class. And people remember that. People remember what he did for USA Basketball. And the further you remove from these injuries, the greater chance that he'll show that. If everything goes right, then he could still be a very high draft pick. With the 20th pick in the 2017 NBA Draft, the Portland Trailblazers select Harry Giles from Duke University. It was very tough, you know, when you practice and you're not playing, you know, and uh, we all kind of were there behind him to, you know, tell him to take the time, you know, and we see this journey for a long time, not just one year. When the Kings uh, shelved him for all of last year, it was a blessing in the sky for him to get healthy physically and mentally. The potential is huge for this guy, so that's been fun to kind of piece together and watch him grow, not only during the process of getting stronger and bigger and all those good things, but also just confidence-wise and psychologically watching him grow and, and really find his way in the NBA. He has a lot to prove only to himself, not to anybody else. And so 
I think uh, if I'm a fan, I, I like it when players are in a place where they're kind of ticked off and where they uh, are enjoying the game and, and they're focused because uh, as a fan, you're just going to reap the benefits. Harry had a couple knee injuries and it's been a while since I've seen him on the floor without a knee brace on. And it's, it lets me know that he's doing um, you know, exceptionally well. I've seen Harry, you know, at his best, seen him, you know, kind of at his lowest and, you know, he, he's back up there. I think he, he's got a chance to be a really, really good player in the NBA. Very strong mentally, you know, he knows what he wants to be in this league. I have no doubt that he's going to have a successful career. My love for the game really kept me motivated. I remember times that like, man, I don't even know if I want to do this. You know what I mean? Because you can easily say you want to do it, but you got to put in the work and do the steps and the rehab. and You fight and you beat those tough days of the day that gives you that confidence. And just seeing yourself get stronger and improvement just gives you this crazy confidence.